Hey there, my name is Nate Pulaski, and I recently finished reading the book Quiet by Susan Cain. I finished it like a few days ago. I hope my professor doesn't notice. The book was very interesting and had some solid points about introversion and extroversion and their place in society. But we're not here to talk about the book. We're here to talk about me. I'm not being egotistical. That's the assignment. Now, I was pretty sure about this for years, but after reading Quiet, now I'm certain I'm an introvert. All appearances in this video to the contrary. Now, most people seem to think being an introvert means this. Hi. <gasps> yeah, that's just not true. According to page 12 of this thing, Introversion is a preference for environments that are not overstimulating. Now, the book itself admits on page 10 that there is no one way to define introversion and that it can vary from introvert to introvert. Introversion, to me, means this. I can't even try to initiate a simple conversation with someone without overanalyzing the freak out of everything. I should talk to someone. Wait, what's their personality like? Are they outgoing? Do they even like talking to new people at parties? What do I even say? I hate small talk. No, don't think about that. What's the best way to introduce myself? Should I be friendly or try to say something funny? What's their comedic preference? I don't know what makes them laugh. I don't even know them. I guess I'd know if I talk to them. What do I say after I say the first thing? I don't want to end up saying one thing and all of a sudden it's awkward tension. They seem annoyed, they probably hate me already. That is me. Every single time I try to talk to anyone. I overanalyze everything. Now, you might be thinking, Well, Nate, if you suck so bad at talking to people, why do you even major in communications? You're not very good at communicating. Just learned that word today. Yeah. Well, thanks for asking, mysterious and kind of hurtful clone of me that appeared in my house all of a sudden. It's because of this. We live in a culture where if someone isn't living up to the extroverted ideal, we assume that there's something wrong with them. Because of this society, and a lot of other factors, I get stressed very easily. My focus in communications is film and media. I want to be a voice actor, because, as I just said, I feel stressed very often. When I get stressed, I watch TV shows and play video games to de-stress. Seeing those characters in their own world just relaxes me beyond what words can really express. Everyone wants to solve the world's problems, and that's great, but no one ever seems to consider the stress of doing that. I don't want anyone else to feel as stressed as I have, so I want to be a voice actor to bring those characters to life and hopefully help people relax and have a little fun. And being a voice actor means I don't have to physically interact with other people like regular actors do. Yeah! Bonus! But hey, who knows if that'll ever happen. Heck, Maybe I'm not even really an introvert. Maybe in truth I'm a grown child, slowly getting overwhelmed by the growing pressures of adulthood, causing me to hide behind a facade of humor and laid-backness due to a crippling inability to ask anyone for help, which only worsens the problem. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with introvert.